All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the Simple Coffee mod, which is being made by user Plorix. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is consumable coffee, as well as a way for you to brew it yourself. And I love mods like this that add in lore-friendly consumables, and I mean, come on, who doesn't love a good cup of joe? Now, before you can actually make the coffee, you do have to find the recipe in the world, and that's why we're up here by Vault 111, where we just need to head into this particular trailer here, where you'll see a coffee tin, purified water, coffee cups, and the recipe. And now the recipe Excellent. is important, as once you do have this, it will unlock the cup of coffee recipes at any cooking station in the world. Now, as for the other things here, you will need a coffee tin to make the coffee, because that actually holds the coffee grounds, some form of water to put it through, and then a coffee cup to put it in. Now, at the moment, this coffee pot here, though intriguing and, well, fitting with the theme, is not actually used for anything, but it could potentially be at some point in the future. The mod maker has stated on the page that they are hoping to make some form of way of brewing coffee on the go rather than just at cooking stations. So who knows? This coffee pot could be of importance in the future, but for now, it's just purely an aesthetic item. So let's head on over to our usual testing area to see how all this works and talk about the coffee a little bit more in depth. Okay, now that we're at our usual testing location, I've got a couple of things set up here. First is a table with our usual ingredients that we need, as mentioned up there, as well as two forms of water. Now, I just said a form of water up at the trailer because you can either go with purified or dirty water, but depending on which you use, you will get a different quality of coffee, which will be either, well, depending on your view, better or worse for you. You. And uh, I do like that, that depending on the water, you can get different effects. Now, there are, in fact, three different kinds of coffee you can make in the world. As mentioned, the dirty water one, a purified one, and then a really, really good quality coffee that can only be purchased. Now, we'll talk a little bit more about that here in a second. But first, let's head on over to the cooking station here and take a look at the ones we can create. And once we're in here, we just need to go to the beverages category and up at the top we have two different cups of coffee now if you go with purified water a coffee tin and a coffee cup the coffee in question will provide you with 20 action points as well as 20 hit points and on top of that it will give you the same caffeinated effect that you get from nuka cola now the next cup of coffee is using dirty water a coffee tin and a coffee coffee cup and this one will give you the same 20 action points but this time, 30 hit points. You'll actually get a little bit more than with the purified water, but downside, you're gonna get five rads. So it's the balancing act of which way you want to go. And I think that's pretty cool. So it does give you a little bit more, but at a risk. And as for the third cup of coffee that you can get, I do have that in my inventory, so let's pop open the pit boy here and head on over to the aid category and uh, this particular cup of coffee will give you 50 action points and 50 hit points at no cost of radiation, and this can only be purchased in the Institute and Vault 81. And that is it. You can find this nowhere else in the world but at those two locations, and you gotta pay for it. Now, the other two cups of coffee, besides making them, you can also find them in the world at different vendors, and you can find them all over the place at the Adam Cats, a Garage, Diamond City, Good Neighbor, etc. So it is quite cool that you can buy these different bits of coffee in other locales. 
And of course, uh, you can now also find tins of coffee in merchants, as uh, coffee tins are a little bit rare in the world for just finding to loot, so the mod maker added them into the list uh, to make them more available at vendors, so you'll be able to buy the coffee grounds that you need. And what's really fun is whenever you do drink a cup of coffee, well, the coffee cup comes right back to you because, I mean, you're not you're not eating the thing. You're just drinking the glorious, glorious liquid on the inside. And then you have a fresh new coffee cup to make yet another cup of joe. And that, that is wonderful. I really do like this little mod and being a... Well, probably too much of a fan of coffee. I love having it here in Fallout 4 now, especially considering we can both brew it and buy it, and even have some special coffee only found in two locations. I think that is pretty cool. And I can't wait to see what the mod maker does do, potentially, with the uh, portable brewing option. I think that'll be pretty neat. But that is going to be it for this mod. Not a whole lot to go over here. So if you'd like to take a look at this mod for yourself, which I would certainly certainly recommend you go and do. You can have a look at the link in the description as per usual, but that is going to be it for today, folks. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next episode when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching and as always, have a good one.